Okay. I think, uh, welcome back. We're working on a Chip 8 emulator, which also isn't an emulator. But, uh, I think the next step really is we've got a program running, and I have to display it somehow. And to make this as easy or simple as possible for now, I'm just going to draw it to the console because this is a 64 by 32 resolution thing and that should be no issue. Just for fun, I'm going to see what that looks like. So let's, uh, let's just draw it to the console. Is there a clear for the console? That's cool. And then I'll loop over uh, 64 values here. And it was 64 by 32, right? Yeah, 64 by 32. And uh, I'll actually loop over the Y first. And then we'll just console.write a star. That's as good as any other pixel, I guess. And then we'll just right line after that and uh, see what this looks like. Alright, in case you ever wanted to know what a 64 by 32 resolution screen looks like, that's all the pixels you have. And so what we'll do is after each processor step, I'll just redraw the screen. Uh, I think that's pretty reasonable. So, that makes it easy. Let's give it a shot. I'm actually going to copy paste that code into a uh, display method here. Make sure that I'm actually adding in the right spot. Um, I need to name it something different, so I'm going to call it draw display because I already have a variable called display. I'll clear the console, loop over each row and each column, and then I'll just console.write if display. And what order did I do it in up here? I think I did x first and then y times 64 in there. So if x plus y times 64 is not equal to 0, I'll also will console dot right line space. And then every step, we will draw the display. Well, nothing's happening yet, but that's okay. We're going to figure out what to do next. One thing I will do here is I'm going to uh, sleep the thread a little bit just so that we're not going at a ridiculous speed. So maybe, I don't know, uh, five milliseconds to start. That still didn't help, so I think we need a little bit of debug information or something to see what exactly is going on here. So how am I going to do that? Let's actually, let's see if we can figure out what this program is supposed to do. So the first thing it does is it clears the screen. That looks good. The next thing it does, 6-1, it sets VX to NN, which is 0. 6-2 sets... 2 to 0, 0. Lastly, it sets B0 to 9, 4 to 1 F, 5 to 0 F. Okay, so let's step through a couple lines of this and just see if that is kind of happening. So these are E0, and it just never returns, that. it never gets called again. So something bad is happening here, and it's probably happening down here in my loop right. I'm trying to read a key there. Okay, that off code looks good. Let's just go for it and see what happens now that I'm... Oh, it just keeps writing lines to my console. I want it to actually move to the top of the console. So console clear. Is there a way to move the cursor? bunch of cursor stuff here. I don't know what those mean, but I would like to set the cursor to the very top left. Let's see if I can just do that. 
Let's see, console cursor left. What does that mean? Cursor left property. The current position in columns of the cursor. It's less than zero. Okay, I think we can do it. So, oh, there's a console set, set cursor position. That is exactly what I want. Set cursor position, zero, zero. Hopefully this doesn't keep ripping down the page. It's still ripping down the page. Let's for now, just so that I get to the bottom of what's going on here, let's console.write a bunch of stars. And really we want this to just stay as a, as a square there, which it is kind of doing. This is gonna run very slow, but that's okay. I see what was going on. It's because I want this to be console.write, okay. So now we're not flying around. This is looking reasonable. And now let's go and debug a couple of those opcodes and see what's happening. It could be that it's just trying to access some sprites that I haven't put in memory yet. So this might not be a big deal at all. So opcode 0000, we cleared the screen, 6100. Let's just write this opcode to locals so that we can see it a bit better. 6200, 6009, 641F, 650F. Okay, so now if we go and take a look at the registers here, it looks like they're set reasonably. So zero is set to nine, which looks right. Uh, register forward should be set to one F. Four set to one F. Uh, register five should be zero F. And one and two should be zero and zero. Those look good. Cool. And then our next one is opcode E256. And let's find out what that does. A256 sets I to the address NNN. So I should have gotten set to 0256, which it did. Next opcode is D10D. D10D draws a sprite at coordinate DX, DY that has width of 8 pixels and a height of N pixels. Cool. So let's see what happens here. So we went and found an X, Y, and N. So the X was zero. Which was wrong. Well, actually, no, that looks right. Because it was looking at the contents of D1 which was zero, perfect. Dy was set to nine, n set to 13. So it's gonna draw 13 bytes. Clears that, and then it's gonna go get some stuff from RAM. And the thing it's getting from RAM is at 598. 598. And that would put it, let's just see here, 598 minus 512. That would put us at an offset of 86 into our program. And that would be right up uh, 86 in hex. So that should start there. Okay, so this is all drawing data, so that's good to know. Cool. So really, yeah, really I should be, I should not be storing these as E shorts. This should be a byte array. Okay, let's go fix that first. So we're gonna read a byte. fill this with a bunch of bytes and then we're going to load a program which is a bunch of bytes 
and then we're going to loop over the program length and we're actually going to just set RAM 512 plus I is equal to program I and now we might just have to change the way we did this decoding here. Let me just check. Opcode 224 which is 00E0. Okay, we didn't have to change it so that's cool. And now we should have the whole program stored at register or at uh, this dot ram starting at 512 and should go all the way to should be some eight zeros at the end here and how many should there be there should be one two three four five at the very end there we are, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're loading the whole program now. So this is this is looking okay. Zero, zero, E, zero, six, one, so on and so forth. Let's try and get to that draw instruction and see what's happening. D, one, zero, D. D, one, zero, D draws the sprite according to BX, BY that has a width of eight pixels and a height of N pixels, okay. Now, we're down in the draw, we're reading in at 598, and 598 had a value of zero, so it's not going to write anything here. Next time it had zero, next time it had zero, zero, zero. Okay, I think that that I should be incremented by I. That's the first bug. Let's get to that draw code again. Memory 0, 0, 0, 0, 128. Awesome. And do we have anything on display now? Hard to tell because it's 2048 things. Let's just see what happens after our next display. There's a dot. Something's happening. This is looking better than expected. I mean, the flashing is awful, but you know, this program might actually be working. Very cool. This is kind of looking like a heartbeat, right? Does that kind of look like an ECG? Definitely. The, the best, heartbeat? best ECG I've seen all day. Yeah. Super. Okay. So definitely have to fix up some of the drawing shenanigans that's going on right now, but let's try speeding it up and just see what happens. I think most of our time is actually spent in the uh, console drawing. It is. So we need to make our console drawing faster, and we can do that because we can write whole lines at a time. So let's actually build up each line that we're going to print before we print it. Okay. So to do that, this is a total hack, but uh, line is equal to nothing. We could use a string builder, but at this point, not too bad. Uh, if display is that thing, then we're going to say line plus equals star. Otherwise, we're going to add a space dead. And then each time, we're going to call us about right line that line. Okay, we've definitely sped things up, and that's... I think, I think this program is working pretty close to uh, the way it's supposed to. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm just going to admire this for a moment. Just hang in there. I'm, uh, I, I didn't expect it to be quite this easy. There's got to be bugs still. But, uh, but you know, that's pretty cool. Boop, boop. It's a very slow heart rate. Gotta get my draw speed going faster. I 
think what I could do is I could actually have it so that my draw display happens inside the draw method. And so I could go and update this screen at that time. I'll try that in the next video.